All right, guys, so let's check and see what Razer has to offer. We've been hearing some exciting things in their booth, so let's check it out. All right, so here we're looking at the Nomo 2.0 gaming speakers from Razer. Uh, these are available now for $99, so uh, just under 100 bucks, And it features some speakers uh, that not only include your front-facing speakers, as you can see right here, but also a pretty impressive subwoofer. Uh, pretty cool. Has all these uh, controls right here that's going to give you a more immersive experience when playing games. All right, so here we're now looking at the uh, Razer phone. Now, what makes the Razer phone so unique is uh, its processing uh, power. Not only does it have one of the fastest processors available on the market today, but also it has the fastest refresh rate of any phone. Uh, from what I'm told, it's 120 megahertz refresh rate, doubling any of the refresh rate that you see from the current phone. So that's doubling the speeds of what you would find in Samsung, what you would find in LG. Uh, all the phones that you see that would be considered flagship phones, even including the iPhone, giving you a really smooth experience when it comes to navigation. Uh, the other thing that you're going to find about the Razer is the fact that it has two uh, front-facing speakers. These speakers give you an immersive surround sound type of experience, unlike any other phone that we see in the market. Also, what we're being told is that there's a special partnership going on with uh, here with Netflix, giving you ultra high definition uh, playback when it comes to video. It may not be able to show uh, well here, but definitely in person, I'm very impressed by the overall quality, how smooth the video is playing, and then the surround sound feature that we see. Unfortunately, at this time, the Razer does not support wireless charging. Um, so that is something that would be great to see in the next generation, but I do think that this is a good first start for Razer. So guys, here we're looking at a concept from Razer where your computer is actually your phone. So you can see that you have the Razer phone, it's docked inside of the laptop and actually serves as the touchpad for the uh, laptop itself. Now while it's in concept mode right now, I think that Razer really is listening and has a great concept here. I know I would buy it, would you? having your phone docked into your laptop and then have a full laptop experience. Now this is going to be a little bit different than what you're seeing from Samsung where you have the Samsung DeX solution or what you've seen tried by other companies like even Asus. So I think that from what you can see here, and I hope you would agree, this is probably going to be what we expect in the future of mobile computing. All right, so here still with Razer and for those of you who are looking to have that arcade type experience in gaming look no further uh, check this out here you have a joystick with all of the uh, control buttons for um, your gaming experience and as you can see up on the screen here as I move this joystick around you'll see how the gaming experience is very reminiscent of when we used to go to the arcade before the Xbox and the PlayStation kinda demolished that line of business very cool from Razer all right, guys, so that concludes our review of what's going on at CES for Razer. Hope you guys enjoyed.